preserved Atlas architecture. Yeah, and it's the real classy corporate stuff, not that military garbage you usually see. I'm with you boys. This looks good. How about we find out if the inside's even better? No, 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 no. We're going in cool right now, okay? Remember? Remember we talked about cool? So cool. So cool. I like Loaderbot. He's such a cool guy. I think everybody should get a Loaderbot in their life. Looks like we're in the right place. Well, that's ominous. This is a massacre. Crimson Lance. These guys are serious badasses. Watch your step. Whole place could be booby trapped. If this place is as valuable as we think it is, they might be trying to protect it. What the hell did this? Not what? Who? This is Athena's handiwork. Starting to think we might have just gotten lucky with her back there. Whoa. My favorite Hyperion mystery man. Hey, look who it is. Recent Vaughn's new little playmates, right? It's very good to meet the two of you. It's a shame we couldn't be meeting under different circumstances. Vaughn, Reese, you didn't think I'd have August handling all my dirty work, did you? Oh, look. Motorbot, attack! I'm helping. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Are you well, serious? Uh, huh. Come on, guys. You didn't think I'd come all the way down here before grabbing a universal remote, did you? What? The Gordis Project, the two halves of the core, everything leading to a vault. We got it all. Checkmate, amigos. I am shame. Aww. What'd you think, Reese? That you could pilfer something from my toy box, no strings attached? You never could follow through. That's your problem. And that's why I beat you every time. Oh, your payback's coming, asshole. I don't know how, I don't know when, but you're gonna make a mistake. And when you do, <laughs> I'll be there. Sure, sure, I'll, uh, bring flowers. Yeah, you'll bring foot wait, flowers. What? <laughs> to your grave. Because you'll be dead. Oh, you guys will not believe the dream I just had. Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what the hell is this? Didn't I just do this with this guy? Kiddo, I admire your consistency, but, uh, God. Oh, and who is this princess? Wait, they. You gotta hear that! Son of a. Shock other people. Oh, yes, I knew about that. Um, don't touch the cores, August. Thanks for the heads up. <sighs> Jackass. They're gonna have to do it for us. You'll cooperate, right? Because I figure if you don't, well, I, I can think of all sorts of things to do to your little friends. We don't even know how these cores work. Yeah. We barely even know what this Gordas thing is! Fair. I vote we figure it out all together. Two always, two halves. I'll, uh, take my soon-to-be-dead janitor here. You take Miss Fancy Hat down the other one. Boys, you keep an eye on these two. Especially this one. 
Don't believe a thing she says. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, you sit tight. Get your hands off me! Either of those two move, you shoot them where they stand. Race, I'll admit it, you and uh, Vaughn have impressed me. And that sort of thing doesn't happen often. I'm surprised you've made it this far. I, uh, Hugo Vasquez, Hugo Vasquez. There's, there's something I remember about this guy. What the hell really? is it? Really? It's unbelievable. You must have had some sort of help. Couple of death jockeys like you. I'd say it was 50 50 you'd survive the landing. There's nothing you or Pandora can throw at me that's tougher than navigating the halls of Hyperion. Well, I know what you mean. Uh, <laughs> it does go down in the H-Town, doesn't it? It most certainly does. I mean, you might think of me as a self-made man, and for the most part you'd be right. But there was this time when I looked up and admired one man in particular. The most impressive person He's I've gonna ever say me. Anson <laughs> Jack. You idiots always say me. Still can't figure out who he is, though. We had the special report. He would do this thing where he would punch me in the face whenever he'd see me. It didn't matter if he was busy. He always made time for me. No, still nothing. I, I punched my mom, for Christ's sake. Just boom, <laughs> right in the kisser. I was drinking from a mug when he got me one time. Sounds like a great man. He was. He was. I miss our time together. Ah, this drives me crazy. It's right there. It's on the tip of my But tongue. through me, his legacy carries on. Oh. <clears throat> so, what happens next? What do you mean? We get you this Gordas thing, and then what? This is all about damage control at this point. We cut my boss, Valerie, out of the first deal. Hmm. Obviously, that was a bad idea for a lot of reasons. The fact that the vault key was bullshit being first and foremost. Well, Valerie found out about it, so now we've got to convince her that whatever comes out of this room is worth more than the $10 million deal we tried to slip under her nose. Then, hopefully, she doesn't kill us all. She ever talk about me? What? Sasha, did she ever talk about me? You guys are sisters. I figure you'd talk every now and again. Just curious if she ever mentioned me. Nope, not once. Huh, that's a little disappointing. Look, I just want you to know, as far as you and I are concerned, there's no hard feelings. That is so generous of you. I'll think about that when you shoot me in the back. Come on, don't be like that. You're the one that hustled me, remember? And that, you see, is what I was trying to provide for you. Some guidance, some mentorship, a father figure. I was trying to help you. The janitor gig, it was to test your metal, your resolve. And I gotta say, you reacted with some balls, kid. Some big old balls. You see, Reese, I started at the bottom, and I worked my way up. I, uh, <laughs> I used to be in the mailroom. Whoa, wait a minute. Wallet head! That's where Jack found me. <laughs> he used to be bald, and he was going through these hair implants, and, and, and I, it would stick money Maybe to his he head. It was, <laughs> oh it was hilarious. Oh, that one was a long time ago. I, ask him about it. He'll tell you. Ask him about it. <laughs> go on. Go on, seriously. But that's a pretty big difference. Listen, uh, wallet head. W wallet head? <laughs> yeah, so I appreciate the advice. I, I do. But I'd much rather you take your two cents and shove them into your wallet that you have on the back of your head that you are ashamed of because you are a wallet head. I... I was trying to be nice to you. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> Let's get this over with. Maybe oh, that wasn't oh, the nicest oh, thing. That's good. 
I'm gonna That's take your right. corpse Thank back you. up to Helios. I'm gonna make sure they save me some of your skin to make a wall out of. Whenever I see it, I'll remember the look on your face at this moment. Whoa. That's... legitimately creepy. Whoa, this is cool. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to it. No! Hey! Hey! I just... I just need some reassurances. That it was just about the money and nothing else. And relationships have to be built on trust. I don't know if I can take Sasha back without it. How do you even start a conversation like that? At this point, I assume she's just embarrassed. You two should just talk. Clear the air, see where it gets you. Yeah, we should do that. Well, here we are. Go on. Stalling won't do you any good. Come on, are you stalling? Nope. Bringing us together. Hey, you guys have a nice chat? <laughs> I can't imagine he's too happy with you guys. Uh, at least that's the vibe I was getting. I guess Sasha left an impression on him. Yeah, I could see that. What do you mean? Yeah, what? Uh, no, nothing. N nothing. Gortis unit ready for assembly. We got it! We got it! I guess that's our cue. Let's do it. Let's get this party started, shall we? Exactly, do you think I'm doing? Almost there. Come on. Come on. a metal ball. How's this gonna get us into a vault? Hmm, maybe it's some sort of vault key. It doesn't look like any vault key I've seen. Oh please, the only vault key you've seen was the fake one you tried to sell me. This is true. Okay! Just grab the thing and let's go. What 
you doing? Warning. Gorgeous device compromised. Smooth one, idiot. Oh no. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, see? Uh-oh. Didn't like that, VC. Did not like that one bit. No problem. Everything is okay. You gotta let me into your subsystems, man. I can hack into these drones and I can uh, uh, almost guarantee no one dies. Unless you want them to. Probably. I uh, just let me in. I. Vaughn! Uh... It's under control, Reese. Trust me. What? No, no. Listen, we can take over the whole facility, kid. I'm gonna Got trust this. Jax. Okay. Okay, what? Are you talking to me? Yes, yes, I'm talking to you. Do whatever it is you have to do. <laughs> Please let this work. How are you doing that? I'm not. Really. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby! <laughs> I'm hoping that was the right decision. <laughs> or this could bite me in the butt. Next time on Tales from the Borderlands. Another episode bites the dust. Episode 2, Atlas Mugged, is now complete. So, as Fiona, you and 78% of players told Sasha to help. Me and about 50% of players selected uh, my one brand. You and about 81% of players didn't peek inside. And you and 30% of players shot Finch with shock damage. Looks like on Reese's side, me and 80% of players kept Handsome Jack a secret. Me and about 66% of players chose to go hollow point. Me and about 90% of players bro visited Vaughn, and ye mean about 34% of players trusted Jack. Hmm, seems like a lot more people trusted the other chick, but I guess that's why we get to choose our own story. So hope you guys enjoyed the next episode of the Telltale Games, Tales from the Borderlands. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody, and thank you for watching.